In fact, a Republic-aligned group of war veterans called the Star Dogs are preparing to strike at you. Star Dogs? I've never heard of them. They are Corellians and sympathizers to the Republic. They hate our Empire and smuggle weapons to our enemies. Being Republic, they have a certain distaste for direct assassination jobs. But they're alarmed, and contracting with the Narshadar Exchange to have you killed. Someone should tell those Republic sympathizers that it's really nothing personal. The Empire has employed you often. For them, it is connection enough. I ask while you're there, to take the Exchange's dossier on their hitmen. Can you do this? Let's not waste any more time. I agree. Please, respond. I'm here. The inner circle of the Exchange is dead, but their leader is missing. That's because he's here! Yukabi is here! Someone sold us out. Get back as soon as you can. We can't hold them-
And you return alive. Have you heard? The Exchange and Stardogs have blamed one another for their negotiators' deaths. They have started a limited war. The truth, as they say, was the first casualty. Now, I believe you have a dossier for me. I looked. Half of the names I never heard of. Yes, but if we can find these rising stars, they will soon be extinguished. An alliance with the Stardog's purpose and the Exchange's assassins would have been dangerous indeed. What shall it be? Does one die? Do both? You horrible worm. You are both wretched. And now you here to rescue the woman and the traitor. I am Ukabi. Godoba? He brought you here and sold us out? Godoba and the others fear me. Fear destroys minds. Look upon my body. Cortosis skin grafts. Intravenous Colto injection system. Holographic targeting array. You are only mortal. I will always prevail. He's getting up. Colto injections can't restore a dead man. Don't you dare talk. You brought him here. You tried to get me killed. What else would you expect from a hut? Maybe, but you made the call to Akabi. This woman is my client. I'm here to do a job. I think I've had enough. Your wealth and power are worthless. I'd like him alive, if you would. He is a powerful creature, and he may still serve a purpose. <laughs> Besides, I'd like to hold him as an example before the Shadow Syndicate. And you. I am deeply grateful for your aid. I know you must have other business on this world. These days, business follows me. Thank you again for your assistance, and when Narshadar finally falls to the Empire, we'll remember the role you played. Select an available travel route. Have a safe and pleasant stay.
delivered, Master. A task just for you. Watch it around. I heard of your success with the Shadow Syndicate. I was hoping you might put those talents to work for me. My name is Mardel Felth, Imperial Intelligence, and I am here to stop a revolution. Give me the specs, I'll give you the price. They call this place the Duros Sector, but it's not just Duros who live here. Alien refugees from across the galaxy have fled here, fled from us. Now a leader has emerged to unite the different species. They call him the Flame. And we have killed him twice. Each time he reappears. The locals claim he's immortal. If the guy's got nine lives, you're paying for each one separate. Only the Emperor himself can claim true immortality. But I'm not asking you to kill the flame. Yet. Our only undercover agent in his gang was recently discovered and murdered. The flame insisted the corpse be publicly displayed in Ranamas Square to taunt us. If they're baiting you, they want something. Oh, there's no doubt it's a trap. But they have bait we're hard-pressed to resist. Everything our agent found, all his notes, are pinned to the corpse in plain view. But every team I've sent to retrieve the records has come back in pieces. You may be the only one who could walk into this trap and survive. I need money up front. Of course. We have a healthy budget. The Minister of Intelligence is quite concerned about this rebellion. We need those records back. Admiral Dufant Ange is due to arrive today to speak with the Huts about this problem. Once you have the records, use this on the body to burn it. We can't have them use one of our own as a rallying point. Medical attention. Be well.
bit of work if I do say so myself. Over, huh? Am 
become a bounty hunter on the Great Hunt. <laughs> Your droid isn't even done. Don't make me kill you. Trap's been sprung. Here are the notes. Let me see. Blasted rebels. The Flame is planning an attack on Admiral Jafand Ange. He can't know about this. I was supposed to... What exactly would you prefer? I didn't know. Admiral Jafand? Sir, I apologize. This is... I know who you are. You've collected quite a fortune working for the Empire, have you not? All of it well earned. Are you more inclined than Agent Maddle to tell me what threat has just been posed? Does this come from the flame? Does the answer come with a bonus? I believe the payments you take are for blood, not words. But you needn't answer. I know the flame has been monitoring my communications with the Huts. I'm here to tell them the Empire will withdraw billions of credits of business from Nar Shaddaa unless they shut down this rebellion. Killing you would be quite a coup for the flame. We must teach him the folly of targeting the Empire. I invite you to come with me when I meet with the Huts. Your activities have made an impression on the cartel. What exactly do you expect from me? Accompany me to the meeting. Help the Huts see the wisdom of cooperating. If you're interested, I suggest you go first to flush out and destroy any of these rebels who might lie in wait. I leave for my meeting shortly. I hope to see you there. Knowing Admiral Jafand, I'd suggest you go now. He'll expect the route to his meeting to be cleared before he leaves.
This is not your battle. The Empire did not need to waste money on your kind to destroy the peace of my world. It is the Admiral who led that attack. It is the Admiral who will die for it. So you're the one who thinks he can defeat the Empire? I do not know if I can, only that I must. I am Gendai. My people had done nothing to your Empire when they set upon us. They tore our world apart, slaughtered our children, or sold them as slaves. In fact, every species here has suffered an unprovoked attack by your Empire. He's a terrorist. He raised an army against the Empire. Destroy him! You are beaten. Go take your people and live in peace on another world. That decision is not yours to make. This creature should not exist. His species is a mockery of humanity, of nature. He's led a rebellion against the Empire. He's burned our factories, killed Imperial soldiers. You wanted me here. Now abide by my decision. I would not have this creature pass on a word of a rift between us. Your offer stands. For now. I cannot bring myself to thank one who represents your empire. But I am impressed with your mercy. We shall leave Narshadar. Perhaps there is yet a place in the galaxy where it is possible to live in peace. Go through the building. Bring me any information on the extent of this rebellion. I will respect your decision, but if these aliens continue to strike against the Empire, know that I will not fail to act. Job's over. It's your problem now. You're right, and do not doubt that I will do what is necessary to protect the Empire. Make your report to Agent Maddle. I will let you explain how things came to end this way. I just received word from Admiral Jafand. He says that the flames surrendered and went into voluntary exile. Admiral Jeffen thinks I made a mistake. I wasn't there. I won't question you. There are certainly reasons one might have to hate the Empire. Perhaps we all deserve a second chance. If you would take on another task for us, I have a message from General Colvin of the Imperial Reclamation Service. He believes you might be key to recovering the secret the Empire has sought for decades. Thank you for all you've done. Select an available travel route. Have a safe and pleasant stay.
So, uh, what? Everything taken care of? No more problems? Huh? Good. Good. My people are looking for signs the Eidolon is on the move. So far, it's quiet. I think he's watching. Maybe we didn't hurt Eidolon security enough. Yeah, that part's easy enough to fix. <laughs> See, if I get rid of the Eidolon, the cartel makes me a full-fledged boss with my own clan. And all we gotta do is take out one little assassin and his pet corporation. What a fragged deal, huh? Mako said the hunter will take me away from here. I help find the Eidolon, I get off Narshada. Mako said so. If that's the deal Mako made, I'll honor it. Thanks. This means a lot to me. I'll owe you one. Now that's settled, let's get back to the job of driving Eidolon security out of business. One of Eidolon security's slogans is, Your secrets are our secrets. So what if you were to make all those confidential records public? It has potential. Potential? What, you friggin' kidding me? Just picture Every contract, every shady deal, all the security specs of every single one of the Eidolon's clients at anyone's disposal. Hey, Anuli, what do I pay you for, huh? How do we put Eidolon security's records on the holonet? That's real hard. Eidolon's holonet transceivers are in the network access sector. Heavily guarded. You gotta slice into those to get to their records. But gotta get past these encryption programs first. You need Z's codes, from him. Also a top-notch slicer to access Eidolon's network. Z's a Bith engineer, best holonet security expert money can buy. He won't just give you those codes. I can be very persuasive. I've seen that firsthand, friend. I'd give you whatever you wanted. Z's currently consulting for a Republic company called Nebula Communications. I'd suggest you blast your way into Nebula's corporate office in the industrial sector, grab some security slug, force him to tell you where Z's at. Select an available travel route. Have a safe and pleasant stay.
Ah, I'm glad I caught your attention. The Empire sent me to negotiate the exclusive sale of several new armor designs, but the sellers are driving an expensive bargain. I'd prefer to keep these credits in Imperial hands. How patriotic. I assure you, I'm keeping the Empire's best interests in mind. The gangsters who managed to liberate those designs are making a show of their willingness to sell the plans to the highest bidder. Either the Republic is willing to pay a lot more for these designs than we are, or the thugs are attempting to pad the negotiations. In either case, I'm done playing their games. I'd rather eliminate them and take the plans by force. I'll see if I can fit that in. Here's where the negotiations are taking place. They won't expect this, but they are heavily armed. Your reputation precedes you, Bounty Hunter. General Colvin, mission leader of this outpost. If you're seeking work, I have it. The Emperor has ordered me to unravel a great enigma in this sector, a complex constructed centuries ago by a Sith named Darth Revan. Upon its completion, Revan sealed a mysterious cargo inside, along with many alien slaves. Nothing has exited or entered since. The complex has sat for centuries and no one's gotten inside? Revan's security measures are exhaustive, to say the least. The complex is fortified with self-repairing automated defense turrets and a seemingly inexhaustible supply of assassin droids. It's amazing technology. We've spent over a decade trying to breach those defenses, and failed. I don't find that funny. We lost over a thousand men until someone had the bright idea to send probe droids instead. We've lost another 10,000 of those. I've discovered that the complex's defenses draw power from reactors across this sector. The owners of these reactors are completely unaware. Unfortunately, they're also our enemies. Republic Special Forces, criminal cartels and mercenary armies. They'll never willingly shut down their reactors. What's in it for me? You'll be well rewarded, and your role won't end with this task. Surely you're interested to see where this leads. Finally, accessing Revan's complex means shutting down every reactor powering its defenses. If even one remains active, we'll never make it inside. Good luck.
scared of you. Delivered, Master. Perfection is my goal, Master. Why are you doing this? We don't keep a lot of credits here. I'm looking for a Bith security officer named Z. The Holonet security guy? Is he in trouble? I've got a gun at your face and you want details? Right. What am I saying? Z's at the Imperial Spaceport. He's on his way to Mechas 3 for a business meeting. He's probably already gone. I gave you what you wanted. You're not going to kill me, are you? Disappear. Now. Right. I'm out of here.
I've secured what you wanted. Let me... Yes, yes. This is everything they were offering. I can't believe such scum were able to get their hands on these. My superiors will be pleased to see I was able to acquire them. Of course, those extra credits need to go somewhere, and you are the hero of the hour. I took down the reactors. Revan's complex doesn't have its fancy defenses. Magnificent. After all these years, we'll finally learn what secrets Revan left behind. Since you made this possible, it's only fair you be the first to explore Revan's complex. Find out what happened to the alien slaves, recover Revan's mysterious cargo, and return with your discoveries. Don't you want to be a part of this great discovery? I'd only get in your way. With the reactors down, your job will be considerably less impossible than before. Good luck.